If you're looking for a quick and easy way to store your fishing poles so they don't end up like this, you've come to the right place. Let's go. For this project, I'll need some washers, a few screws, some two inch PVC pipe, and a pool noodle or some pipe insulation. I'm gonna cut this pipe down into five inch sections using my chop saw. If you don't have a chop saw, you can use a uh, hacksaw or a crosscut saw, whatever you've got available. <laughs> Now I want to pre-drill these pipes, but I want to make sure that the, everything gets squared up. So if you have some marking on there, it's really easy to just square that up there and there. If you don't, I recommend taking a speed square and marking off a straight line. And then I'm just going to drill these about uh, an inch or so from the top and bottom. Across from those little pilot holes, I'm going to drill a bigger hole. I drilled that big enough to get my screwdriver tip into. So this is where I'm gonna put the fishing rod rack. I've got this nice little ledge right here around the outside of my garage, and I think I'm gonna set these just flush up against here. If you wanted to raise them up somewhere, uh, just get a, like a four foot level and mark a level line where you want these. I'm gonna want these about six inches apart. So I'm just gonna mark where I'll center them. Now with a washer on the end, I've fed that screw into the back side on the inside of the pipe, and I've got the screwdriver bit through the front of the pipe. I'll line that up with these marks. Now I just need to cut my pool noodle. I had four of those PVC pipes and I spaced them about six inches apart. I'd like to have a little bit of an overhang so that 24 inches works out pretty good. Keep in mind you can scale this project, cut more PVC pipe if you want, use a larger stretch of pool noodle and make this as big as you like. Next I'll cut some slits in this pipe. I'm gonna leave three inches on each end. So I'll cut a slit at three inches and then the six inches from there. We'll go with the nine inches, six inches from there. Go to 15, six inches from there will be 21. That'll leave us three inches on each side of the pool noodle. I'm just gonna extend these cuts. So it goes through about half of the pipe, half of the noodle. Now I've placed my longest and shortest pole into the two holders there so that I can gauge up where I need the top holder here. And that's gonna be our pool noodle. So I'm gonna stick it somewhere right in here. I'll show you how I mount it to the wall. All right, so the first slit that I cut is going to line up with this pole. And we'll take the drill. We'll put it right into the wall. And we'll just do that with every slit that we cut. Just 
Just be careful not to put these screws through the back of the pipe, through the back of the noodle. So there we have it, an affordable and effective fishing rod holder that's scalable to whatever you need. You and me go fishing in the dark. What? Everybody loves a little nitty gritty dirt band. <laughs>